two videos ago, I did a brief talk about our culture and big culture shocks that I was still surprised to find out that we're in the midst of. But this video, I do want to highlight the positives. I do want to emphasize that even though our culture and the way that we were raised into technology has changed us all and our culture has changed over the years because of technology and all of this happening now, there are positives. Now, let me bring them up. No long explanations, very brief. But I do want you guys to think about these things because there are good things happening and we are changing and transforming as the years go, as we grow together. So one positive about this culture is that we are learning to value connections and community like people back in the 50s and even the 1800s did. They grew their own crops, they needed each other for trade and stuff like that. We are coming back to value culture like that. Community, inclusion, and connections. Very, very, very important. Uh, the desire for real, authentic love. Everything is so, so superficial now with social media, dating apps, and people tend to leave relationships very easily. They give up on each other very easily. But this is making us want to be in a relationship full of real authentic love, true love. And once we have that desire within us, we are capable of learning how to do that. And we're building resilience. We're building coping mechanisms for living a healthy lifestyle. It's, it's the age of awakening. We have knowledge that we've never had before. We have people exploring themselves deeper than they have before and expressing it via these devices like you are right now watching this on YouTube. So many cool inventions and technology skyrocketing. We just need to learn how to work with it all and how to integrate ourselves with it because it's not going anywhere. We are learning to respect others and be okay with other people's lifestyles. You have people's lives in front of your face all the time. That's what social media is. We're all expressing, sharing who we are, our world through our eyes, and we're sharing it with you guys, with anyone that chooses to see and watch your videos, your pictures, follows you on social media which just opens up your eyes. The world is a lot bigger than you think. It's a lot bigger than your own perception. And just accepting each other. We're learning to respect each other as we are all exposed with social media. We're learning how to be grateful for the little things because we're so used to having everything so quickly that when something bad happens, it truly makes you think about how good you have it, how good you have it now versus when something does happen, you're like, okay, now this is something to panic about, but we be panicking about things that are so insignificant when people are going through a lot more shit or going through really hard times and you have this one bad day and you're like freaking out or overwhelmed and stressed over tripping on your shoelace or being late to work, just little things. So we're learning gratitude and when to freak out and when to realize that we're actually winning. We actually have it pretty good compared to the rest of the world. If you are mentally stable, somewhat mentally stable and you're able to get through work and your day by day and you have friends and family that love you, you have a home, you have an income, you're blessed. Like you're so blessed. There are people 
that are not mentally stable, it's getting really hard with everything that's going on to maintain that mental stability. If you need help, reach out to a therapist, to your friend, somebody to talk to. But ultimately, just be grateful for just being alive another day. Lastly, we are returning to old core values. Family, children, love, integrity, respect, we have lost a lot of the values that made the family system the way that it was back then and a lot of it has to do with and don't take this the wrong way females and the fact that we are now more empowered we have a lot more rights it has changed the family system i'm not saying it's a bad one it has made us lose sense of some of the core values like family like loving and having children and maintaining a household all that stuff is still very important it's fulfilling in a way where your soul is happy it's not instant gratification it's difficult to raise a family it's difficult to have a husband and you know have a long-term marriage but this stuff is important. It gives you long-term fulfillment and satisfaction. Don't take this the wrong way, okay? I'm speaking from perspective, from my own perspective. So if you don't want a family, if you don't want a husband, you don't have to, it's your choice. But I'm referring to core values. The value, the core value of family itself, of community, of love, of assisting each other. So, I hope this video has made you think a little more positively on our culture, on our generation, and I hope that you have learned something new. If not, I hope you have questioned some of your beliefs wherever you stand. I hope this video has expanded your mind or started to expand your mind a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. Blessings. I will see you in the next one.